Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good day. I'm back with another D&D's Marvelous Miniature and this is a female monk. I was asked to paint her for a D&D campaign and I said, why not? So we're going to start off with some game ink by Vallejo and this is Sepia. It almost looks like the snake bite leather from the contrast paints, but a little bit darker I would say, but when it dries it comes out a little bit lighter actually. Uh, and these are already primed, these miniatures, which is great, so then you can just go ahead and paint them. Uh, to do our staff, we're going to be using a contrast paint called Wildwood, and this is going to be able to uh, get that wood effect on that staff. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button, and you'll be able to get notified when new videos come around. I usually try and post a video almost every second or third day, so keep an eye out for those. We're moving on to Grimoire Purple now. This is a war paint, paint from army painter uh, this is gonna be for her like dressing so the top part of her dress and the uh, bottom part as well which is like hanging loose this is a beautiful purple color uh, if you want to use this I find it's got like a darkish earthy tone to it uh, and uh, I find it was gonna go good with this kind of miniature We're going to be doing her belt and pouches now with a unique color from the Zombie Side Invader paint set, and this is Rigid Brown. Alright, to do another part of her dressing, we're going to be using some Fairsris Purple. I don't know if I said that right. This is another unique color uh, from a D&D's Underdark paint set. We're going to be using a D&D &D Unique Metallics paint this time for her uh, leg pauldrons, her arm braces, and her shoulder pads. So whatever was armor, this is going to give it a nice little golden look to it, as well as the tips of her staff. And we're moving on to a netter contrast paint called Basilicanum Grey, and this is going to be for her pants and her shirt and her sleeves. The next contrast paint is Gwilliman Flesh, and this is going to be for her face and her hands. Now I didn't want her hair to be super dark brown, so I went with a Banshee Brown. Uh, this is very, very light, but when the wash gets put on later, it'll come out looking exactly what I wanted it to do. Now I'm using a paint from the Army Painter's Game Master range. This is called Cavern Base. I still haven't figured out if this is actually uh, a uni color or not, I haven't looked into it more. But all I'm doing is painting the actual base from the miniature with this, because on the sides after I'm going to add some battlefield rocks uh, just to cover up the black base on there. Now we're moving on to that soft tone and we're going to put this everywhere that we haven't used a contrast paint. So pretty much the purples and the brown, well the, 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 the belts and all that, or hair, and you're going to see that her hair comes out looking really nice with that. Anyways, very simple. That is the human monk ready to hit the table and fight some monsters in D&D. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button and we'll catch you all in the next one.